Hi, so today I'm going to talk about um, like my fandom identity vlog. Um, and so what I'm going to talk about today is Animal Crossing. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call myself like a fangirl or like like super obsessed um, with like really anything in general. Um, not really super obsessed with video games um, and things like that. Um, not super obsessed with Animal Crossing, but it's something that I enjoy. Um, and it was a big part of my life growing up. Kind of, sort of. Um, so the first Animal Crossing came out in 2001 for Nintendo 64. Um, and then for the GameCube, um, but I was two, <laughs> 2001. So obviously didn't play that version um, of Animal Crossing, <laughs> especially not at two years old. Um, so the very first Animal Crossing that I played was Animal Crossing City Folk, which came out for the Wii um, in 2008. And I remember the very first time um, I saw Animal Crossing, um, some of my friends had it and I saw it, uh, saw a commercial on TV. And I was like, man, that game sounds really cool. Um, but I was afraid that my friends would make fun of me for being nine and wanting to play a game that had, like, talking animals um, in it. Um, but I decided to rent the game from Movie Gallery um, when they were still open before I bought it. And so I remember like the minute that we got home it was like I got it on like a Friday night and like the minute that I got home I begged my parents to let me have the Wii in my room um and told my brother he could just get over it because the Wii was mine for the weekend and so I played Animal Crossing on the Wii and played it like all night woke up <laughs> I remember the, I had to return it Monday night so I got it Friday and I had to return it Monday night and I remember I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning before school started to play one last time because I was gonna have to take it back to movie gallery um right after school was over um and so I later on got Animal Crossing Wild World um for my Nintendo DS um, but that one came out in 2005, so it came out before Animal Crossing City Folk. Um, but I didn't really know a whole ton about Animal Crossing before then, um, and obviously didn't have a Nintendo DS in 2005, um, for various reasons, because I would have been six, and six-year-olds, I'm pretty sure at the time I still had a Game Boy um color <laughs> um in a game boy sp and so i didn't start playing animal crossing wild world until a little bit later and definitely after i started playing animal crossing city folk but i didn't necessarily enjoy animal crossing wild world um as much as i enjoyed the version on the wii um one because the wii connected to a tv and my ds was just a little one um so i would mostly only play Wild World um, when I was traveling and needed something smaller, um, compact, and travel size. Um, and then I didn't get, so between Animal Crossing City Folk and um, the newest Animal Crossing New Horizons, um, there were kind of like two different like Animal Crossing things. One was um, an Animal Crossing for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, by that point, I'd kind of outgrown my Nintendo DS, which, like, playing it super often, I still play it every now and then, but not a whole lot. Um, so there was one, I forget what the name of that one is, um, because I never had it. So I didn't have that one because I didn't have the Nintendo 3DS. Um, and then there was Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, which is an app on like the app store and google play and all that stuff um so i did have that one but that one's nothing like the actual like real life animal crossing but it's still kind of fun um and then the newest one is animal crossing new horizons so um as like a birthday gift to myself and happy quarantine because my birthday 
um, is at the beginning of April and that was like when like quarantine quarantine really started happening um, I bought myself a Nintendo Switch um, just solely to play Animal Crossing pretty much um, because I wanted something to um, help me cope with moving back in with my parents for the first time um, in almost four years and as well as just not wanting to go insane um, for being inside in my house um, all day, every day, and not seeing friends. Anyway, um, enough of that. Um, so as a kid, Animal Crossing allowed me to like escape um, everyday life. It was something that I would play as soon as I got home from school. Sometimes I would wake up really early to play it before I went to school. Um, and on top of that, um, as a nine-year-old, it felt really cool to me, um, because it was like my own little person living by herself, um, getting to do grown-up things like investing in the stock market where you basically buy turnips and, um, sell them and try to invest in them and things like that. Um, so it allowed me as a kid to kind of have the independence that I craved, um, and wanted just in a different way, um, in a virtual way, in a way that wasn't actually in real life. Um, but now I enjoy Animal Crossing for different reasons. Um, I mostly play it as a way to kind of unwind from my day and relax. I enjoy like, especially on the new Animal Crossing, the New Horizons, I enjoy getting to design my island and make different crafts and um, DIY projects and things like that um, for some odd reason I really love to fish on Animal Crossing it's like my favorite thing to do I love to catch sharks I mean I can't do that in real life so I might as well do it virtually um, but it was just Animal Crossing is just a great way um, for me as a kid to just kind of live life and now I just still enjoy it it's not like my favorite thing in the world um, I'm not super obsessed with it, but it is just like a small little thing um, in my life that kind of, uh, in a way, helps me kind of relive childhood memories and just kind of relax and unwind. Hope you guys have a great day.